Hey everybody, what's going on? Herbal with a new episode of Dwarf Fortress. I'm just going to be setting up a new area for our trade depot right now. So that when our new traders, uh, hopefully when a new trading caravan comes by, we're able to actually trade with them. Uh, since the new, like the Walden area, our old trade depot will be quite garbage, as mentioned in the comment section. Uh, we've got dwarves busily working away with actually planting different seeds. We've got our nice little workshop area over here, uh, hollowed out. Maybe I'll just set up a... There, we'll just throw a farmer's workshop in there for now anyways. There we go. And we... Actually, it looks like our hospital is... Is it almost cleared out? Is it cleared out? Oh my god, I think it is. I think our hospital is actually cleared out. Yeah, it is. Hopefully that means that we're not going to be having any... Uh, like, wear badger attacks. Donald Trump has created a masterpiece Willow Floodgate. That's a start, Donald Trump. That's a start. Uh, so we're going to be throwing our floodgates down here, hopefully getting this uh, little area down here fixed and uh, built up. Not actually entirely sure how I'm going to be doing this yet. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what I'm doing. As always, I can never really know what I'm doing. Um, probably already going about it in a very indirect way. But in my head, I have an idea, kind of, where... What we do is we allow water in through here. And water will always sit kind of right here. Um, and to let water in, we'll open a floodgate here, and then water will pour in this way. And then to drain it, we'll close this door off again, and then open a door over here, which will come to a drainage section. And hopefully that works. I guess we'll have to kind of wait and see and try it. Try it out and see how many dwarves die in the process. I'm sure, you know, several will. It's just the way it goes. But uh, we'll try it out. We'll see what happens. And if it if it works, it works. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And that's too bad. Uh, actually, I'm going to have endless floodgates being made for a little bit. And then we need somebody to get their shit together and get that mechanics workshop built up. So that we can get... We're going to need a lot of mechanisms over time. Every single project that we make is going to take, you know, multiple mechanisms. Oh, shit. They, uh, uh, they're going to cancel due to damn stone locating. Oh, well. Uh, another big project that we're going to need to do is obviously a uh, pretty big, like, uh, a crypt. That's something that we, you know, really need. Uh, we still don't have anywhere to bury all the dwarves that we've managed to lose already. And I would like to do something like that in, like, uh, in the next couple of episodes at least. I, well, I guess technically I kind of want to get that done um, in this episode or the very next episode, really. I don't want that to drag out for too long, because I can't imagine it's having a great impact on morale. Um, though I'm not sure where to put it. Maybe we'll just... Maybe we'll just throw it over here. Next to the fields. Uh, we'll just make like a little one over here. We'll see how that goes. Let's throw a little, uh, just in the, like a body dumping zone down there. And, uh, that'll have to work for now, maybe. Uh, what is going on with this trade de depot? Still slated for removal. Uh, still just waiting on a, a couple things to get built up, and uh, we've got a couple mining projects going on So uh, a lot underway anyways a lot underway. Oh no guys. I didn't even notice this was going on I wasn't I like how this game will pause like every Thing that happens, uh, but it won't pause when people are suddenly being attacked by wear badger wood burners uh, which is what's going on now, and I'm, I'm you know I'm kind of running around doing things and I realized, like, holy shit, there's a big trail of blood. What's going on here? And, no, it's actually, we've got a, uh, a wear badger on the loose. And uh, here's Juan, Solga Juan Solgado uh, running away. I'm, I'm guessing he's running away from it. I'm not sure what the hell happened. Did they already kill that thing? Looks like it. It looks like it. I see another dead wear animal up here. Yeah, there we are. We've got Lem and we've got Dejali. Uh, is that just a jolly? Is that the same thing as before? Let's see. No, 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 no. Oh, damn. Yeah, we had another, uh, we had a wear badger turn. We've got, uh, rampant wear animals. I have a feeling that won't be the last of it. If, if we've just had one, it's very, very likely that we're going to be seeing more. Uh, we found another dead dwarf. We've got more dead dwarves. Uh, really super unfortunate. That's not good. Uh, we're going to start running out of, you know, uh, citizens soon if that keeps up because that can get out of control very quickly thankfully we've got a couple of caskets slated for uh, 
just dumping down here. We just need somebody to come by with furniture hauling and uh, getting getting around to just dumping a bunch of caskets down there, and then we'll have a nice big open uh, open mass grave just to start dumping all these bodies in that are going to be popping up. Really not good, uh, especially since we lost a miner. That is quite the blow. Uh, we've got a couple more pickaxes, I think, made up though, didn't we? Yeah, we've got those pickaxes made up. That is good because those are really going to be useful. We've got a couple of copper bolts getting crafted, and I think we're going to work on. Uh, we've we've got to get some kind of military presence going. I know building a. I know that building like a like a military barracks down here won't be doing justice uh, to our previous military barracks, but uh, I think we're just going to start our first military uh, zone, and we're just going to throw it down here in the peat area. Uh, I know it's kind of unfortunate. It's not going to be the prettiest, but I think it will work. It'll get the job done, and we'll be able to station a couple of military dwarves and start. Uh, when we have a problem, we'll have somebody that can at least pop up with a weapon in hand and attempt to deal with the situation. Even if they're not very well trained, we'll at least have you know one or two dwarves that can kind of come running out with like an axe or a hammer or something and try to make a short work of whoever is giving us the hard time. Uh, you can see down here we've got the, uh, this is going to be where the water is going to drain it and I'm going to have that drain into like some kind of a system chamber below it and then we'll, I don't know what we'll do, like eventually it's just going to be an issue, maybe we'll have to have that uh, chamber drain off into like a deep, deep pit into the mines or something, otherwise we'd have to be pumping it back up to the surface and I'm not confident in my ability to make like some kind of like windmill system or something to do that. And I don't want to assign a dwarf to just pump things all the time. That would be awful. Uh, so there, we've actually got our farmer's workshop already already built up here. Uh, so we can process plants, milk, milk, make cheese, milk an animal. Which I'm going to set up uh, milking animals and uh, shearing animals. I don't know if we have any that, can, uh, that need that done. But it would be a good start getting some milk built up. And we're definitely going to need some food soon. Because I don't think we have anybody... I don't think we've had anybody bring in any serious amount of, uh, of hunt hunts yet. Like, I don't think anybody's gone out and captured anything big yet. So I know that we could use a lot more food, and if we can get some milk, we can get some cheese going out of that as well. It happened. Donald Trump has become a were-badger. Uh, we all knew this day was coming. Uh, unfortunately, it came a little sooner than I'd hoped. Donald Trump is a were-badger, guys. You have it for me right here. Totally not fake news. If we zoom to that location, we can take a look at him. He's probably going to be getting people any second. Where the hell is that guy? Where is he? Why can't I find him? Oh no, he's in the he's in the one. Oh, he's working on bricks when he got killed when he turned into one. Oh no, he was working on a uh, on wooden floodgates for us. And there he is, a large badger twisted into the humanoid form. It is crazed for blood and flesh. Its eyes glow spring green, and its hair is brown, short, and even. Now you will know why you fear the night. Donald Trump, the wear badger. Guys, what's gonna happen? We don't have any military dwarves ready to take this uh, this threat on, unfortunately. And he's just hanging out in the workshop. Oh, he just jumped out. He attacked somebody. He attacked somebody. Oh, what happened? Let's pull that log up. Um, Donald Trump is fighting. The expedition leader attacks the wear ja wear badger carpenter. But it jumps away. The wear badger carpenter attacks the expedition leader. The expedition leader misses. The miner strikes the wire badger in the right lower arm. This copper pick tearing the uh, tearing apart the muscle and artery has been opened by the attack. God, we gotta see how this plays out. Um, yeah, that's not gonna. Damn. Okay, so he's already died. Let's see what happened to him. All right. So the wear badger car. Oh, so the wear badger. See, the wear badger actually did damage, and that's where the problem is gonna stem from because now he's just gone and probably infected somebody else so you can see here the, the expedition leaders flying with uh, attacking him the flying wheel of bolt somebody shot him with a bolt a tendon has been torn blah 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 blah. Uh, the wear badger carpenter shakes the farmer around by his right leg so i'm guessing the farmer's been turned the wear badger carpenter uh, releases some some kind of grip on somebody but he, he gets the farmer he's just mauled this farmer to death so uh i think hmm I think we've got a, uh, a farmer who's going to turn. Hey, spring's arrived, though. It's a new year. We've at least survived one year. Uh, we might, you know, die at this point. But we have survived one year. And that's, you know, always a good thing. One year in, we've made quite a bit of progress. 
uh, there was everything that you guys seen being worked on. Uh, also, meanwhile, I was kind of working on a, I got a couple things down below that were taking a little bit of time. Uh, we've got a couple of bodies dumped in here. We've got some bodies dumped into this uh, mass tomb slash grave, whatever. Donald Trump's already been buried. That's good to see. Uh, they already given him a proper burial. If we come down a level here, you can see the new barracks has been carved out. And I'm working on a uh, sticking out a small kitchen area so that we can actually have uh, meals and stuff cooked up down here. And that way we, you know, it's cooked up to the, the food supply room, hooked up to the pantry. And then it goes off here to the uh, the temporary uh, dining hall as well. So they, they can bring food right out of the kitchen into here. Or, you know, people can come out of the, out of the dining hall into here and whatever. Just makes it a lot easier, like a nice kind of roundabout. There's like a perfect circle of continuous motion that you can make through this section. I'm going to set up two kitchens down here, I think, for now. Yeah, just two should work for now, I think. Uh, I'll put them just both down here. There we go. And the other one just down here. And then we can get some uh, meals being kind of pumped out because we do have... Seems like we have quite a few raw ingredients. I wasn't... I'm not going to look at stocks yet because we don't have anybody working inventory to look at things. But we can actually see we have a bunch of uh, different herbs and roots and stuff that we've chopped up, uh, picked up from the area. And we've got a bunch of pond turtles and... Just stuff that we've uh, harvested from the lands around us, which is good to see. Uh, what happened with this? What's all this stuff all over the ground? Oh, those are floodgates. So we knocked floodgates all over the place, I guess, when that... Did that... Uh, that workshop got destroyed, I guess. That's kind of funny. I, I wasn't too sure what had happened there, actually. But that's uh, that's interesting. So did we get our... No, we're still work, waiting for a mechanic to get around to working on that mechanics workshop. Um... We don't really have anybody specifically assigned to mechanic, but I did check. We are we still have uh, in the lazy new pack. We should still have. Let's see. Wherever it is, um, well right now I'm kind of lost here. We should have somebody like automatically uh, assigning jobs. You can see I have the uh, the population cap quite low right now. Nothing too big. I don't want things getting out of hand right away, so I've uh, really limited that this time. Uh, did we... Hmm. I can't seem to find, uh, find what I was like. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Other automatic plugins, enhanced gameplay, automatic job assignments. I'm an idiot. Yeah, right there in the Dwarf Fortress hack, automatic job assignments have uh, been set up. So I'm not going to be bothering too much with Dwarf Therapist right now. I'll jump back into that later once we get a little bit further ahead and I want to start specific uh, specific uh, tasks for individual dwarves. But for now, it's it just is what it is. I don't really care who's doing what. Uh, we've got gold cabinets being made. I'm going to start dumping those in these rooms down here. If I can find them, it should be under... Oh, right there, cabinet F. I should keep these dwarves from throwing their clothes all over the place. It gets kind of messy. You can see they've got... Uh, Little socks and boots and crap laying around in the room, just on the ground. They don't even care. Messy dwarves. Let's see, this guy's got uh, yeah, a couple of wool socks and uh, an alpaca wool shoe. Just laying on the ground, he doesn't even care about it. But if we throw in some cabinets in there, they should actually keep their clothes kind of put away and nice and tidy. Uh, workshop area, these kitchens coming along. Also designated a uh, an ashery so that we can start getting... Um, potash made up. Hopefully we can get potash made up so that we can fertilize the hell out of these fields. Uh, that would be really nice to get done. Uh, I guess we are out of seeds. So I guess we'll switch to sweet pods and quarry bushes, see if we have any seeds for those. Donald Trump, uh, blood death. Just making sure that we haven't had any random attacks that I somehow missed. That's gonna get... Like, I'm really worried about that. I don't want that to get too out of hand uh, because... Let's see. Hey, that's Donald Trump. His mutilated corpse. I thought I seen him buried, though. Does it create a second body? Yeah, Donald Trump. Oh, this is uh, the resting place. Yeah, this is the resting place of Donald Trump. Weird. But his wear badger body is up top. I wonder if there's like a human body inside the wear badger that they cut out or something. That's really, really weird. I'm not sure how that works. Definitely strange zone. We want to get everybody buried or we want to get them memorialized before we start getting too haunted. Don't want a haunted fortress uh, quite yet. Not ready for that. Uh, we are running out of dwarves though. 
Dentist 13 citizens. We need <laughs> we need a migrant train like you wouldn't believe. I guess it's kind of good Donald Trump isn't here. Uh, we wouldn't be getting too many migrants coming in. Uh, they'd, I'll be stuck up at the wall, so whatever. No, I'm just joking. I'm not like, you know, when it comes to, like, I'm actually from Canada, so I mean, like, I think Donald Trump personally, like, I find him fascinating. To me, like, he's an interesting guy. And uh, he says a lot about the times that we live in. I don't, I'm not saying he's good or bad. I, I just think he's genuinely interesting. So, like, I'll joke about, I'll joke around about him, but I'm not, you know, I don't have anything good nor bad to say about him. I'm completely neutral on that subject uh, when it comes to U.S. politics. But I understand that there's a lot of people out there and they're, you know, obviously deeply, deeply entrenched in uh, the social and political like aspects of today's life. Uh, so I, you know, just making sure, like, anybody out there listening, like, I'm not at all serious. I have no preference either way. Coming from Canada, I mean, obviously, American politics affect us here in Canada. Um, but as far as Donald Trump goes, I mean, I have no real genuine bias there either way. I mean, personally, as, as a Canadian, I guess he's, you know, he's, he's apparently going to uh, give us a nice oil pipeline, which is a good thing for us. But uh, anyways, none of that really matters. I don't know why I'm going on about that. Uh, let's see how, how, how are we doing on beds? We're all out of beds. We don't have, oh, we do have doors. Do we have any golden doors? No, we just have these awful willow and ginkgo wood doors. Totally not something that I need. Um, hmm. We need, yeah, we just need like, a, we need a lot of migrants right now. Like we need dwarves coming in to do these jobs because right now we're kind of, I think a little bit overwhelmed. Uh, we don't have, like, I know we've got a couple dwarves doing things that, you know, maybe we don't need done this second. Maybe I'll take, okay, the, got two, got two wood furnaces dedicated to ash. Neither are actually constructing anything right now. Um, you know, we don't need rock blocks right now, so I don't want dwarves to waste their time on that. Uh, let's see, what else are people doing right now? We've got three dwarves just drinking, uh, two are fishing, we've got a dwarf out on the hunt, and that's kind of cool to see. Glad to see we've got somebody hunting. Uh, place items in tomb, store items in stockpile, construct buildings, smelt that hydrate, pen pasture, large animal, and we've got a child that's a pyre. He's just playing make-believe. What a useless, stupid kid. Can we force this kid into mining? I wonder. Maybe not because I have this, uh, because I have... Auto labor is assigned. I'm not sure if I can force that child into any kind of labor. It would be nice. Once I um, get out of auto labor is being assigned, I'm definitely using dwarf therapists to cheat away and force children to work. I mean, what's the point? I'm not... Oh, they're running in. Oh, he is mining. Oh, my God. That kid is mining. Good. Good, good. So I can force him into working. I know that's kind of cheating, but I don't really care. I mean, we'll get all the work we can out of him. We'll force him to work. He's literally working in the mines. He's literally a child laborer being forced to work in the mines. And he's really slow at mining because he's pretty awful at it. Probably swinging that really heavy pickaxe is not good for him. Oh, uh, we've got more wear badgers coming up, guys. Uh, we found somebody else dead and we had another wear badger transform. Yeah, we've got a wear badger in the. Oh, uh, we've got a wear badger in the uh, in the main hallway down here. So who was found dead? Oh, Pyre got interrupted by a wear badger. That little kid is so dead. Oh no, guys, what's gonna happen? We've got a wear badger stalking the hallways. One wear badger uh, from earlier, and we are screwed. This thing's right lower leg is cut open. Right lower leg is bruised. Is that Pyre? No, that's Antic Manmic. I have no idea who the hell that is, um, or what he was doing. It looks like he was mining. Antic Man McManic, sorry, that's that was someone added in from Reddit, but I'm not sure like what he was doing down here. Uh, but it doesn't look like he was at all any kind of wear badger, but he has been killed by one. So you know he put up a damn good fight against this thing. I mean he really hurt it. If it can just go die now, that wouldn't be so bad. Oh no. Oh no. Um. We've got multiple wear badgers, guys. We've got three wear badgers, though we did just get a big migrant train. Hopefully a big migrant train. I don't know how many migrants we actually got. Looks like three. 
Are you kidding me? We got three? Four? Oh, man. Ablel Mind Attack has assumed the position of exp expedition leader of the Natural Anvil. Where the hell is my uh, my recording cut out there? I have no idea where the Natural Anvil is. Uh, if anybody understands what the hell that meant, we are not the Natural Anvil. We are Axed Romances. So I have absolutely no idea. We are walling these guys into the hospital. That's the current plan. We need somebody to come up here and get this uh, this walled area just finish this right off and uh, wall these guys like we've got all these migrants laying around now we need somebody to come up and just wall these uh, wall these guys into the hospital but we had a dwarf decide he's just gonna take off and uh, check himself out I'm just trying to figure out where the hell he went that doesn't seem like him this is him yeah see his foot is torn open and he's decided you know I don't need to go to the hospital right now and he's just totally checked himself out but I think it was because I stopped anybody from able, being able to bring them food and water, and he's uh, he's gone and he's got out to uh, to feed himself. You know, I've been watching this guy kind of pace around in here. He's really making me uneasy. I don't think he's going back into the hospital. I think he knows something's up. He's just assigned right now to no job, and he's just kind of walking around. Um, I guess we're gonna have to wall in who we can. That'll have to work for now. Um, maybe I'm gonna make I'm gonna have to make some kind of drowning chamber. You know what? I could draft him. Actually, you know what? I could draft him. Screw that. Let's cancel this and just draft that guy. Why was I waiting for him to come back on his own? Uh, let's go with military. Let's create a new squad. So Zalbin and I found out our, our ranger Avis, who is also struggling with the wear badger before, have both been infected. I've uh, just assigned them to a squad called the Ten Chambers who is been, has been instructed just to be stationed here up in the hospital uh, actively. So we've got them coming in here, and uh, now we just got to come up here and finish off our wall. And I think uh, <laughs> I think I think that, that problem's gone and, and sorted itself out. As long as that wall gets built before one of them decides to, to totally transform and kill everybody in the fortress, please hurry up with that wall. Zuggler, the soap maker. Zuggler the soap maker is the absolute hero of the fortress. He's got those guys totally walled in. I'll cancel their stationing. They can do whatever they want now. So if they want to fight with each other, whatever they can. I don't. I don't really care anymore. Uh, they're going to die in there, quite obviously. Um, I know I could have been nice and just brought them some stuff, but uh, no. No, 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 no. Now we've got miasma spreading. So we've got a lot of problems. Like, obviously, we've got our our uh, fair share of issues here in this fortress already. Uh, we've got to... Yeah, we've got to get our military... We've got to get a real military built up now. That's ridiculously clear at this point. Uh, because, you know what, that's something that... Why am I forbidding things? Um, that's just something that would have saved us so much... So much work and uh, so much, like... Just so many problems that would have been avoided if we had a really basic military. Uh, let's set up a dump zone for that uh, that crap that's rotting below underground. Just dump these guys off at the garbage dump. Um, I guess we could set up a refuse stockpile as well out here. Let's just throw that out here in the middle of middle of nowhere. Uh, oh, cool! This guy made our uh, our first uh, our first artifact, Besmir. Nizdalad, the lie maker, has created a, a stupid bracelet, so everybody give that guy a big pat on the back. Um, a hev <laughs> the earthen worn, the heavenly virginity, an ashen bracelet. Uh, the bracelet is an item of jewelry worn on the hands, really. Uh, this is an ashen, ashen bracelet. All craftsmanship is of the highest quality. It is decorated with willow. On the item is an image of a circle. And ash on the item is an image of Eter Bridge Mountains. The dwarf in orthoclass. Hmm. I'm not sure who that who Ether Bridge Mountains is, but he sounds like a pretty cool guy. Uh, I don't think he lives with us. Take a quick look. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna leave it here for this episode. I think I'd like to believe that we have that uh, wear badger problem under control. But uh, what do you guys think? Do you think it's gonna keep going? Uh, do you think it's something that we've thwarted uh, with our little walled-in hospital? 
or do you think that's gonna it's gonna evolve from there and get worse um, do you think we've just doomed those guys in the hospital for no reasons I, I just like to hear your opinions what you guys think um, but uh, yeah like I said I'm gonna call here for this episode guys again thank you so much for watching uh, it's been a lot of fun 